Mike, hello. Guy28, Super, Ace, Freeman, Nick, Red, Terry, and anyone else who might be lurking in chat. Hello, guys. And thank you for all of the congratulations. Honestly, I woke uh, I was here earlier. I was supposed to schedule, you know, the stream at and started like five. But I was shocked with what happened. I did not expect the thing. I was like let I, I was like I was the um before I checked the thing, like I checked it like early in the morning and there was like um I think there was like nine subs left before we reach one thousand. And then I just saw that what when I opened like just now uh, before I you know was planning on scheduling the stream I was like huh I I was like am I seeing things is it really 1k written on the on the thing I was like last time I checked there were still nine more so I was so it was just like a few hours ago so I was really shocked and I was and I, it took a moment to process the things so yeah i was really really shocked about that but yes thank you guys um just a bit just a short congratulations to everyone a congratulatory speech for now i will probably talk about it later and then we'll schedule a celebration for the 1k so but yeah so i would like I'd just like to thank everyone here and you know everyone who pretty much sub because as I always mention, those achievements, those milestones, they're actually not just on my own. It's because of all of you guys who are here. So, you know, all of the things that I have is because you guys helped me achieve it. So, I would like to thank each and every one of you for, you know, helping me reach this milestone. Because I couldn't do it without you guys. So, thanks a bunch, guys. Um... You guys all deserve, you know, a pat on the back for helping me be able to reach this milestone. So, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at the, the, the dark type thing. I was like, 700 views. Like, what? 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 What happened? I was, I was so shocked. And then I tried to check if the other girls as well. I was like, huh? What? W w why? I was just so... I was just purely shocked with what happened. Yes, 700 views for the last stream. So I was like, okay, okay. I did not expect... I was like... I don't know if you guys saw my my post on X. I was like, I saw this black cat where it's screaming, ah! And I was like, that's me right now. <laughs> when I saw, when I, when I turned, when I logged in, that was me. I was like, so shocked, so shocked indeed. So, yes. Wow, just, I'm still just <laughs> shocked. But yes, ah, but yeah. Hello guys, how are you? Hope you guys have been doing well. And I hope you guys have eaten I don't know breakfast lunch or dinner but good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone because I don't know which time you guys are in but yes hello guys and the Nichols guys can you give me just a little a second I'll I'll switch to the game scene so you guys you know can listen to the nice courtroom background music but just give me a few just a few minutes I will just try to do just check on the cat something is going on downstairs i would just i just know it let me be back just for a bit And I am back. So I checked on the cats and apparently it was just the orange kitten by herself. Doing some stuff. 
Like, I don't know what she's doing, but she's going crazy. By herself. While the other three Nekos, they're just chilling around. You know, chilling around. I don't understand. But, you know, orange kittens, orange cats. Their energy is really just chaotic. But yeah. So anyway, guys. Um, we're playing Ace Attorney um, Full Justice. The trilogy. Because, you know, there's just one thing with this. But yeah. So, what we're currently on the case on is the last case for this first part of the first series of this trilogy and then you know the, the, the story is building up you guys will finally understand everything why you know this this is really my favorite case of the of the game but yeah so let's find out what happens you guys have to find out the story and who is Apollo really and also the family background of Trucy. So here we go guys, let's continue to load and let's continue the trial in a bit. Wait, uh, oh yeah, we still haven't finished this thing. Bush bowl club thing. Um, hello, controller. There we go. Control is now working. Forgot to turn it on, but here we go. Present day, Drew Studio. <laughs> oh no! Hey guys, it's your favorite journalist. Hello. Remember me? Do you remember him? Hello, Nightmare. It's everyone's favorite character, Russell. Hello, Mickey the Momo. Journalists ask questions, not other way around. End quote. Okay, we get to ask him stuff. <laughs> we gotta spend time with him, guys, so you get to know more about your favorite character. Forgery is a serious crime, and they paid the price. A forged diary page. Oh, he always felt like he was being watched. Every day for seven years, walls have ears, potatoes have eyes. End quote. Eh? You know, I felt watched too. Tingling sensation on back of neck freaks out. End quote. He really likes to say end quote a lot. Because he felt guilty? Why would I feel guilty? Hmm. Paranoia. Pay attention to my nerves a long time ago, but I felt it too. Journalist, sure he is being watched. End quote. Don't you wonder why Zach? Oh yeah. 
completely vanishes from the courtroom then for seven years he talks to no one not a soul then just as the remaining time was almost up he contacts me in order to have made this have this made and then he dies and you were being watched the whole time eh why am i being watched why is phoenix being watched Oh, before that? What? <laughs> I hate that pose. Don't brush your tongue in public. And then he uses the brush to clean his glasses. I was younger then and my days and nights smelled of fresher mint than they do now. If he's... When he smiles, people can smell an overly, you know, huge scent of mint. I wonder how it would have smelled back then. I don't know. One nosy reporter. And that was him. Look at his nose, guys. He's smelling a scoop. Journalist catches scent of a scoop. Goes on feeding frenzy. And go. Oh. That's what happened. You hate it, Ace? Why do you guys don't like Brushel, huh? What did he do to you guys? He just reddened his nose to become clown here for a bit. Be sure he's not. <laughs> sure, he punched me once or twice or five times. Oh, okay. See? Look, what, did you did you re did you hear this? Did you see this thing? I kept prying and eventually became friends with Zack. Sure, he punched me once or twice or five times. But over time, he came to see me as his confidant. Maybe you just need to spend some time with him, guys. So you can become friends and you don't like instead of not liking him. Try to make you what lump. Maybe you just need to spend time with him, you know? He's been waiting this whole se time, seven years, eh? With a damper in the big show. Lost out to his partner at work and in love too. Oof. Now I feel so sorry for Valant, guys. Imagine your your partner in your work gets to have the performance rights. What this and also got the, the, the girl that they both like. Ouch. I think that's a huge damage to his ego. And that's why he... Hello, Titan! It's the same old story, really. Two, disi two disciples and their mentor's only daughter. One has three sides and all of them pointy, a love triangle. When you're in the performing troupe, that's your world. It's like family. One with an entire high school's worth of drama, intrigue, and backstabbing. <laughs> this reporter. And in the middle of all this, Thalassa has true seat. And then she dies. What? 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 We need to get to know more about her mother, so...
I was friends with Zack after all. He hit me a few times, five times actually. He still remembers it. Even though it was like more than seven years. But still, I'd never forget his wife. Oh, he's very nice to talk to, see guys? If we just ask him and he will tell us stuff. Oh, her second marriage. She was divorced? Not quite. Her late husband was a performer too. Apparently, he died during some gig. Why is it? It's, I forgot about this part, but... This is... Why is this like... Pro, pure drama. Tragic, really. They had only been married one year. He is pretty. He's got you for family after all. Did you guys see this thing? I've known Trucy since she was a little thing too. She got the better deal. Why did Trucy get the better deal? Because Trucy got a family? What do you mean? Just reminiscing, you know? As another child before besides Trucy. Do you guys have any idea who could be the other child? I'm pretty sure some of you guys have an idea who it is. Do we have the photo? No, we don't. Apparently, they have two kids. What? But, but Trucy said she was an only child. So she had a child... She had a child on her... With her previous husband and then a new one with Trucy. And that's the Trucy's the new one. Trucy! Previous husband? Her first husband who died during a performance? They had themselves a kid. Another orphan now. That's another one who slipped through the cracks. No idea where they are now. You think you could borrow this photo? Figure her! People and events all get tangled together and get bigger -er and bigger. -er. Bigger, -er, bigger, -er, bigger. -er. Don't you think I was too busy wondering about bigger, -er. bigger -er to uh, listen to what you say? Sometimes you just gotta accept you won't be able to tangle. Bigger. -er. What do you mean? Haven't you seen it in Trucy? She's got his power. You mean how I can't lie to Trucy? Zack had good eyes. But not good like, you know, not that good. So, do you guys have any idea who's the other kid? Who's Talasa's first child? I would show you the photo and then I'm pretty sure you could get an idea on who it is there because the clue is over there um. no it doesn't come with the side of fries 
Here, I'm gonna show you the photo. Look, this is the photo. Is there something there that's pretty fam sim familiar to you guys? That a certain someone has? Oh, hello, me! Hiya! If you guys still don't know, then you'll find out. Blue mine. Oh, how is your vacation, guys? I hope you guys had a wonderful vacation. Hope everyone's also been doing well. Yeah, guys, have you guys eaten? I'm getting hungry, but I have some. Um, Pastry over here so I can eat the thing. You're getting sleepy already, Freeman? Why you haven't slept, how didn't you? Guys, please take good care of yourself because you know you need to do that. This is why I always remind you guys to take good care of yourself. You woke up early? Why did you wake up early though? Oh, this tastes good. I like this food. It's good. That's just six hours of sleep, Freeman. Technically, this is... Um, bread with sausage in it and then it has cheese on top. A bottle of rum keeps the... Shouldn't it be an apple a day keeps the doctor away, man? It's good. I don't know. I don't need any power to see through that one, buddy. So there's someone else. Guys, look. So the only one with her power left now is Trucy. So there's someone else, someone other than Trucy. Someone who inherited the power. Haha. <laughs> I will finally, I will finally, um, you know, show you guys who the other child is. So the other child is Apollo. So technically, Apollo and Trusy are like half siblings. They're half siblings. They have the same mother but different fathers. His name is I for I forget. Something weird.
You can show me pictures of strange boys all you like. But you could at least say something like, I'm this boy. I could use a laugh. The bracelet, guys. The bracelet. Okay, big man, go rest up. He was a performer. They met when he joined us. Okay. Look, the bracelet, guys. The bracelet. Mm -hmm. Those bracelets stand out. Oh, they're an heirloom. Where's a bracelet just like the ones in the picture? Oh, that's why. Why what, Mr. Zack? Mm -hmm. She returned, she only had one. And that is why she left the troop for a little while. It's because she was pregnant with Apollo, guys. She gave it to this boy, her son. Ta da! The secret, what's the secret? The secret power. It runs in their veins. Tension in others. They could notice it? Wow, that is one... Mm-hmm. Oh! The bracelet. follow the siblings guys the siblings mm -hmm. You get to babysit both of them again. Yeah, that's pretty messed up, you know? The bracelet! Oh! They become tense and that's why the, they feel that the bracelet is like contraction. Contracting in their muscles. Gotcha! Yep.
So when the person they're watching gets tense, the bracelet feels tighter on the wrist. See? That's how Apollo mentions what he can feel. Mind reading. That's a simple question of eyesight. Eyesight? I guess that sounds simple enough. I don't know. They're made out of special alloy, they said me. Oh. Oh, really, huh? I didn't know that. To focus. When we focus, we see many things. We can see many things. The faintest twitch of the face and the meaning behind that lies behind it. And now I'm just drinking some orange juice. And it pairs really well with the bread. Seeing is more than believing. It is known. Something. The bracelet is telling you to stay focused and then you pair it with that. He probably does it without thinking. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Zack. If this boy's bracelet is the real thing, then he will use it before long. Thereby awakening his power. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, he will finally tell us what happened the night Magdifi died. Thank you, William. A test in his last year's Magnifi, okay. Worked us to the bone, no, to the pain. I give my art to you, Zach. It is thanks for playing along with my show. Though I would have, have minded dying by your hand. You're my mentor. Ah. Imagine you being the cause of your mentors. The 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 something happening to your mentor's um chi mentor's child and then them working it to the bone i want this i want this beard <laughs> go go uh try to get it me thank you titan and if i shot you in the forehead instead Oh. So in the first place Valen doesn't even have a chance guys Because If Zack shoots the clown doll's head Then his the rights will be his If he shoots Magnifi then Their performance rights will go poof Like I don't know So in the very, very beginning Valen doesn't even have you know, the chance to be the successor, I guess? Well, he is a magician, that's why it's magnificent. Oh ho! You do know what they say, that when someone's on their deathbed, that's the time they regret doing stuff or not doing stuff. It seems to me that Magnifi wanted you to be his successor all along. That's why the time he gave you was earlier than that. Perhaps, but it is not something we will ever know for sure now. Waiting for you to die. 
Mm-hmm. Public opinion's a fickle thing, you know. The trial ended when you vanished, Mr. Zack. There were even rumors that Valent had helped you pull it off. Well, it seems... Mm-hmm. Even though I'm dead. And that's how it ended. That night, he was killed. He died a shady smith, a mysterious traveler with a secret path. This envelope, to whom it may concern, seven years past, I, Zack, murdered my mentor. Magnifi, I apologize for the trouble caused by my sudden departure from court and hereby confess to my crime what he would okay he would confess lying of course he'd killed no one this was his way of tying up loose ends with his old partner thank you that not so deadpool and also you know Thank you guys for everyone else who tried to um, congratulate me. Thank you so much. Why do you mean Brusho? <laughs> why is it? Why are you always blaming Brusho, Titan? Oh, here he is. Hello, Mr. Valent. Yes, it's been seven years since we last saw each other. So I came because I want to ask you something. <laughs> Guys, why is it like everyone's in, you know, in agreement when it comes to Brusho? <laughs> hey, he's he's the confidant of Zack, you know. Magnifique. Hey, they're friends. They're friends now, you know. Brushel awakens the fight or flight response of people who see him. Mind control. <laughs> you guys, you're making him like he has superpowers. <laughs> uh huh. Vaudevillian distraction. Smiling at them all. Yeah, you never made it clear. Oh no, not again. Cyclox! Well, at least there's only two. I knew I'd be seeing this sooner or later. That sounds an awful lot like something I heard seven years ago. Let's go! Present the Magatama. Magnifi's dead. It's time. Uh huh. Brushel did nothing wrong. This message was sponsored by Brushel. <laughs> I like that everyone's like. I'm <laughs> all in agree. Hello, Dashawn Long. I hope I did pronounce it properly. But, you know. Why are you guys so mean to Brusho, huh? If it's not for him, we wouldn't have gotten this performance right, you know? Like, what did this guy did ever do to you guys? Okay, let's try to break this 
Cyclox of Piss. Why do we get creeped out with Uncanny Valley? What have... So Isa is the only one on that person's side. Come on, you gotta get, you gotta, you know, give him a chance, guys. Who knows? You might be, you might become friends with Brushel. What is a rainbow baby? I don't actually know. Oh, what, 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 what happened? Oh, performance rights. I think we gotta, you gotta, you gotta present the document. Yep, I knew it. But I didn't imagine you'd be planning your comeback quite soon so fast. A document showing the true recipient of the performance rights of Magnif to Magnifi's miracle. Or we might be his next victims. I think I have enough friends. You don't want to have additional new friends, ne? Trissy Enigmar, actually. She's officially my daughter these days. Officially my daughter. Preposterous, Zack Zach is gone. Vanished into the void. The neck was trying to... Open the trash downstairs and trying to see if there's food there even though she has dry food. But Neko is just... I don't know why she would always do that. Oh well. Not friends with that person. Both myself and the notary can testify to this. Five clock break. I like that there's a bunny. Nope, it was you, mister. There you go, the confession. This, but this is a confession in which he admits to the killing of Magnifi Grammy. See, all according to your plan. I am a magician by trade. Deception is my life's work. I fool the audience, give them a fleeting dream. Yet it seems the tables have turned. Now I am the audience, believing in the deceptions I have wrought upon myself. He licks his brush and then drops his glasses with it. That's just him licking his eyes like a lizard. Because he's a lizard person. Mm -hmm. And then he puts it back into his mouth. You guys pay very specific attention to detail when it comes to brushel, huh? Mm-hmm. I like a zoom, my god. Well, he's finally gonna talk, guys. Finally! How could he not? He does it on a loop in front of us. Yeah, it's you. That would be the logical conclusion, yes. So he managed to protect me, his partner. I have little talent. I needed my mentor, Magnifi's repertoire. It was as if a little demon... Oh, oh, oh. He's confessing, guys. He's confessing. It was as if a little demon grabbed hold of me. 
I knew it. The vanguard did kill the great Magnify. <laughs> and he's just laughing. So sorry, Mr. Wright. But it was not I who shot my mentor. What? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? There wasn't another disciple, was there? Such as, I don't know, knack and talent, maybe. And it had it had to be the only other person at the scene, which means wait, wait you don't mean yes. Like he 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 unalived himself. Oh, his death is not by murder; it's by suicide. We spoke with Magnify, yes. He transferred the rights to his partner. To his repertoire to my partner. I always thought you were the one who did it. You owe me no apology, huh? My crime was in a way more serious than that of murder. What? Your crime? Uh oh, what he's what is he confessing? It's always brutal. What is his crime? Oh, he knows that it was a suicide, but he tried to put the blame on Zach because he wants to get the performing right. That's when I heard it. The little demon whispering inside my heart. The demon. Let me confess, I had intended to shoot Magnify and I planned on framing my partner for the crime. Wha what? That night, I prepared something before going to Magnify's hospital room. What's going on with the Nekos downstairs? Like one just screeched or something. IV fluid, of course. If Zack did not shoot, I would do the deed. Then I would use the IV liquid to place the murder on his hand. That was my plan, but you didn't shoot him. I could not. The demon in my heart fled when the moment came, but then Magnify called me back. I am sorry, Valent. I'm giving my magic to Zack, not you. You still lack the draw he has. Please help him if you can. Nah, they'll be fine. I'm tired of checking out on them. I left the room and then I... St you know, it's usually because the the orange kitten annoys the other Calico. And, and then what would happen is they would like run around, chase each other. Then the orange kitten would be so defensive. He would shout and stuff like that. And then here comes my void. The void will then... Immediately stop the the fight or I don't know the quarrel or something. She she's like the sheriff. She's like the sheriff. And then they would stop. She just arrives at the scene and then they would stop. Normal normal orange cat behavior. Yes, man. Yes. So whenever she hears one of them being noisy like that, like screeching or something, she would immediately run wherever she may be. To the source of the sound. <laughs> Trying to stop the fight. She's just the sheriff. You know. That's why. He, she's the most responsible. Among the four of them. The void. Then the demon awoke anew within me. Zack killed him. He was the one. Frame him. And the magic will be yours. 
did I picture K Asha in you in that situation? <laughs> because you know K and Asha, it's pretty uh, not really that far off. <laughs> hey, if anyone can do a fan art about that, I would like the I would be glad to see it, guys. If anyone can do a fan art about what me said, I would want to see it. I altered the scene of his suicide. I took the pistol from his hand wife of the prince. Then I used the syringe to add IV liquid I brought. The, 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 the void. Oh no, even his clown's over. That was seven years ago. I don't know what to believe, but I'm glad I heard it from you, Mr. Fat. Yes, Konek Deku-chan! Guys, wait. The Void wants to come in. She's just probably gonna tell me what happened out there. The Void is here. Hello. I am hugging her. Currently hugging her, and she's so quiet now. So you did your thing. You helped them. You stopped them again, huh? Come in, Nikotan. Nikotan. Did you go in? Ah, oh, you're so heavy. Why is the neko so heavy? Yes, you heavy. What? Yeah. She noisy. <laughs> She's noisy. Which neck would Elena be in that situation? The fourth one? The one who's just looking at them? Yeah. Then why? Why are you so talk why are you so talkative right now? Huh? Why are you talking too much? Neko? I don't know if you can hear her, but she keeps on meowing. Hello. It's so adorable. Okay. What? What? The meows. Elena would be watching on the side laughing. <laughs> You're going to turn yourself in? Yes, Nikotan. You want to come up here? Go ahead. Neko. He's so nice. Oh ho! She's finally gonna confess to altering the scene. Yes. She noisy. Yeah, she very talkative. Which fan art are you talking about, Sonic? But hello. Welcome back, Nick. Void? She's quiet now. Pray for forgiveness. Titan with the peeking. You asked Saint Isa that question? And now it occurs to me, what if he was not the only one who survived? You see, now that I think about it, I realize that I know. We, ne we never saw proof of her demise. We never saw her body. Her? The mind raises and the mouth flaps on. My apologies, forget this matter. Thank you. There's only one type of fan art for Elena? Well, at least he would finally confess to his crimes of, you know, altering the scene. Yeah, she being a psycho. 
Oh yeah, guys. Were were you there when you know he had new nicknames like Shrek Mado and <laughs> Karen Mado? She has so many. <laughs> she has so many new nicknames like in her new Shrek Mado. <laughs> oh, Muscle Mado, and now a new one arrived. <laughs> You know, I wonder how would Elena feel with the new nicknames you guys have for her. Prisoner Christoph Gavin is currently occupied. He's occupied, guys. Like, imagine this is a prison cell. Like, why does it have so many books? It even has a violin. And like, look at the chair. It's so fancy. It is time. <laughs> yeah, really, Titan. She was really ready to kill Saul. Nico chan! Hello. Hey, <laughs> yes. What does the Nico want? Do you want some attention or something? Nico chan! Yes, yes, you're noisy. What is the noisy, Nico? Noisy. Oi, oi, oi! Okay. okay, she just wants to lie down on my hand. Great, now I'm 100 only. Oh well. And then, guys, we would finally see the stamp. Look at the stamp! It's the stamp! Time to spray the thingy! Ta-da! I'd like to see a fan art of Miguelito. What? What does the Nico want? Oh, he wants some attention! So this was Drew Misham's Messenger of Death. She keeps on going back and forth. I mean, left and right to, from the, ta the, the, the table. Nico-chan! The interview request came like you just you said it would and they're looking into the case. I swear on my life, I won't tell them about you, so please release the spell you've put on my daughter. I'll write later with a report. Well, he is a previous lawyer, William. I was just nibbling on his on that on her ear on the Neko's ear. Her ears are a bit cold. Are you feeling cold? A burglar in jail. Okay, I will. I think she's feeling cold. Let me warm up your ears. Neko chan. <laughs> yeah, her ears are a bit cold. Look at his evil face, guys. Yes, I was nibbling on her neck, like her ears. Hello, Conway! Hello. 
Tada! Guys, look at what Phoenix has. Tada! It was a camera. Now it is time. Every story has an ending. We've come to the final chapter. The final trial. Find the truth. You're the only ones who can. And here we go, guys. The final trial. Court is in session once again. Nico. The Nico wants some pets. Oh, we're back here again. Welcome to court. Seven years all leading to one verdict. A verdict which you must decide. Is the defendant Vera Misham innocent or guilty? The courtroom doors are opening. The trial awaits. Are you ready to begin? Preparations complete. Here we go, guys. For a second, I thought his arm shadows were sweat stains. It is time. Bye-bye, Neko-chan. You can open the door. I believe in you. Okay. She's really smart. The voice is really smart. She opens it, you know, opens the door whenever she wants to. And the Neko has been numbed. <laughs> Here we go. Court is now in session for the trial of Vera Misham. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Eee, here he is, Clavier, guys. Prosecution's ready to rock. Acute atrokinin poisoning, according to her physician. She could die at any time. It is unusual. Or they risk having no one left to try. A trial without a verdict can only cause grief. The records of this case and experience tells us this. Apologies to the defendant, but the show must go on. Yes, the show must go on. Right, if Vera dies, the trial will be cancelled. If I'm not going to I'm not going to let that happen. Mr. Wright told me everything that's been going on behind the curtain all these years. Hello! It's Nico! Yep. Let's get her innocent verdict. I'm not sure. They never pronounce his name, but I think it is Clavier. Welcome back, May. We're now starting the trial again. It has been resumed. Objection! Objection! No! What we need to worry about isn't the verdict, but the trial itself. Yeah, he's... I think he's German, you know? Because he does say Achtung. And he says Ja. Yeah. And Her. So I think it is Clavier.
It's because of a certain item. How do you propose her killer poisoned her? It's this thing. This nail polish. Yes, we will. No, it's Kristoff. The killer is this guy's older brother. It's this it's this demon. This demon, this demon over here. He's the devil that you know that Vera Mishem is selling. Yeah, we will. We will. I think we have to say how first instead of who. Because, you know, we need to... How did the killer poison Vera Misha? Any comments before we begin, Prosecutor Gavin? No, not brush though. <laughs> I thought he was near the end because I was so used to Apollo being the first person to appear here, but no, it's that this guy. So I was going to the farthest part. Because I thought he will be over there. Because it's usually Apollo. I mean, you know, or the victim and stuff like that. Apollo, Mr. Wright, and stuff, stuff like that. But he, apparently, he's the very first option. Not a bottle of container or poison was found. Uh huh. We already know what it is. Yes. Very well. What method was used to poison Vera Mission? Nail polish! Ah, uh, was the, something the matter? No, no, nothing, nothing at all. He, he saw that it's very familiar. This is nail polish. It's like paint. <laughs> the judge doesn't even know what a nail polish is. It's like paint for nails. No, any women with red nails? Ah, my wife has red nails. I see. So she's been painting them all this time. What did you expect, judge? Like, sh her nails are just purely red? He was nib nibbling her fingernails. Mm -hmm. When the prosecution had Vera examined, did they check her nails? I, well, I... Bailey, have them check the defendant's nails at once, Mr. Justice. Yes? Yes, I know who did it. That bottle belongs to Vera Mission? He knows. He knows. He knows. His brother. Why do you ask? Know someone else who might have a bottle like this? No, just checking. He's sweating a lot. Yes, yes, I know. You already know who. Here we go, guys. Time to frame the real killer. Wh what's this? Christoph Gavin? 
what's your game? My bro, there's no way he could do a thing like that. He should know that better than anyone else. Well, he was my mentor, but... Mm -mm. He is behind bars. I know. However, that doesn't mean it was impossible to do what he did. What? Ask yourself when he put the poison in the bottle. It could have been yesterday, could have been a month ago, maybe it was a year ago. Or perhaps it was seven years ago. It's not framing if he did it, Isa, isn't he? Yes, he's already in jail for killing Trucy's dad. And now he's being... He's another... He's being... He's the killer. He's being suspected again. But... Prosecutor Gavin doesn't seem to think so. Eh? Uh -huh. That face tells me one thing. Christoph Gavin's own younger brother doesn't find it inconceivable at all. Fine. I've known for some time that an in impenetrable darkness lurked at the bottom of this. A darkness that has swallowed even myself. Okay, the defense wish is granted. See, that's how great he is. Even though it's his brother, he's willing to, you know, find the truth, guys. Find the truth. Let prisoner Christoph Gavin take the stand. A special witness. I was about to pull out a keyblade. Here he is! Ah, your honor, how nice to see you again! Hey, it's time to defeat the devil, guys! I think you already know Mr. Christoph Gavin. I do I feel like somehow he's still my boss? Upper lip, Apollo, you can do it. Does this bottle look familiar? Arya Done, Arya Doni, nail polish. Well, yes, I use it myself. As did the late defendant, I hear. She's not dead yet. And look at his face, guys. Look at his evil face. Like he's looking down on you. He's like, like. And, was there something concerning this bottle you wish to ask me about? I admit, I respect her for her taste in nail polish. Her taste indeed. Uh-huh. Yes, he's German. With, same with the brother. Um, ye, meh. He's in jail. For murdering someone. What do you mean? Don't assume someone is bad based on their appearance. We have proof. Even in solitary, much comes to my desk. And I have nothing to do but read. Well, Clavier. Maybe you can explain this. Oh. You're being accused again. By him. Again. <laughs> Again. Ah, and you agree with this accusation, do you? Let's hold a proper trial, shall we? Your testimony, please. I'd be delighted. You're suspected of the poisoning of the defendant, Vera Misham. Please testify on this matter to the court. Well, that makes sense. How could I poison her? She, he's been in solitary confinement for six months already. Look at that evil face. Yes, I'm blaming you for both cases.
You don't know him? You don't know them? Like, yeah, I believe you. But I know he poisoned the missions. The question is when could he have done it? Seven years ago! Her dad, yes, her dad died. This... The original case trial is... Oh. Oh. Oh, we can't open... Well, we can open the thing. But the one that died was Vera Misham's father and she's being suspected for killing her dad and then now she gets poisoned by the same poison. This is a new post, so... Look at that! Look at... Look, look at his eyes! It's so evil! Oh! That wasn't there. Gotcha. There is that finger pointing at me so rudely. Don't judge a book by its cover. Guy literally staring at you. We're staring murder at you. See? It looks like Pegasus. The guy that says Yugi Boy. Man, I missed watching the or the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh. And that desperate gleam in your eyes is quite disturbing, actually. Wait, what is it that's supposed to be? Oh, I think I did it wrong. Are you guys seeing what I see? In that scar becomes like a skull for. See, I told you he's the devil. I told you he's the devil, guys. I told you. Gotcha. See. I uh, I like I like the or, you know the OG Yu-Gi-Oh Sonic. I even collected the cards, <laughs> and there was even one time when I got all pieces of Exodia. Eh? And I used to play um Yu-Gi-Oh Capsule Monsters. I or I got all of the pieces of Exodia there, but I wasn't able to find out how to fully summon Exodia. In the game, but you know, it was you who killed Drew Mishem. A bluff worthy of renewment, sir, Mr. Wright. Oh, really? But you see, I saw it. Right when you said her father, too. Your hand tense unnaturally, and a little devil appeared to give me the news. See, I told you the hand was. She's, he's a devil. I told you. And let's assume for the sake of argument that you saw me being tense. What does that mean? Are all with tense witnesses guilty? And tell me, was your mission fond of nail polish too? Kira wouldn't like his hand. Yeah. 
You see, your mission was killed on October 6th. While well, I was already in my solitary confinement prison, cell in the prison. But you found a way, all the same. And I found it too. Look at him. Look at his evil face, guys. Evil face. This is how you poison the, co the commemorative stamp. Right? The night Mr. Misham died, he was seen writing a letter. A trokinin was found on this stamp, Mr. Gavin. So I might understand this stamp was the murder weapon? Yes, you are. Oh, and yes, this stamp was found in your prison cell. Ta da! That is all, Your Honor. That is all. Order, order, order. Poison? On the back of that stamp? Mm-hmm. Phoenix Wright. Let's save, let's save. I wanna remember this. This part. That's when he found the stamp. You made Drew Misham write you a letter. That's how you killed him. What? My, my. You've upset my poor brother to the point of uselessness. Allow me to clarify this matter, Justice. All you need to do is recall witness Spark Brushel's testimony. Well, that's the thing, see? After he put his letter in that envelope, Mr. Misham sat there searching his desk for something. A stamp. What are you getting at? You were planning to kill him like seven years ago. See, you should be seeing through this weak spine bluffs by now. Really, Clavier? You should re you should be seeing through this weak spine bluffs by now. He's right, though. How could anyone have known Mr. Misham would use that stamp that night? Well, Look, guys, this is why I like Clavier. Look, Crystal said, I believe the defense bluff has been called. Clavier, the defendant defense bluffs? I'm not sure I agree with you there, Kristoff. See, he's even willing to, you know, fight just because he wants justice to be served. Even if it's his brother, he won't let it go. Clavier? Honestly, I wanted to believe you. But the defense wasn't trying to get away with the bluff. You were, Kristoff. Ta da! Well, what are you saying, Prosecutor Gavin? Her forehead. What was your accusation again? Huh? Oh, it was that this poison stamp killed Drew Misham, yeah? To which my brother responded thusly. There was no way to know when Miss Sham would use the stamp. When? Yes, that's right, which is why it couldn't have been planned. Tell me, it needs to be planned? Why? Uh, why couldn't it have been a coincidence? The defense case is simply that Drew Miss Sham died by that stamp, that's all. Christoph, you tried to slip out from under his accusation by changing the subject. If that's not bluffing, what is it? What are you up to, Clavier? I could ask you the same question, Crystal. <laughs> I silenced the defense with the fewest words possible. It's called efficiency. 
But Mr. Gavin, that's impermissible testimony. Very well, I should take his claim head on then. Justice. What? You accuse me of Drew Mission's murder, yes? Then, allow me to ask you. What possible reason could I have to kill a painter? Apollo, motive. He's talking about motive. Now here's something. Why didn't he bring up the motive from the very beginning unless he was afraid it was a battle he might lose? So what does it mean? It means there might be a weak spot. Maybe I have some evidence to prove a motive. Gotcha. I'd say it's about this fighter. Yep. You are correct. Uh, Agung? Is that how you say it? But you know. We bring out the en the envelope or the forged um, work of Vera. Then let's see what you have for us. What reason did Christoph Gavin have for wanting to murder Drew Mishan? When we consider why the stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. And why was that? Forgery, your honor. Go back seven years. Drew Misham accepts his first job creating forged evidence. A page from a diary, wasn't it, Magnifies? Yes. Why would they? Just out of curiosity. Do you remember this letter? First page. The second page. Sign the papers and send in the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp within three days. The enclosed stamp was none other than the poison commemorative stamp. Drew Misham drew his last breath just the other day. However, the motive for his murder was already seven years old. Seven years old? The client who requested this forgery was very cautious. He tried to raise anything and anyone with connections to the forgery. To keep them from talking? Yes. But he made a mistake. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magician, so I kept it. While it took me when I was very young, it was a great magic show. I loved it so much. The killer's time bomb was delayed. The poison stamp was sealed within a grass frame. Where it sat for seven whole years. It was delayed seven years. The one who schemed up the forged diary page was the one who poisoned the stamp, and it was Phoenix Wright who presented the forged evidence seven years ago. Nope, it's not Phoenix Wright! Objection! Sorry, but that's not how this is going to go down. Oh, then how would it go down? I checked through the records in that case, and I found this. Seven years ago, just before the trial began, Old boy. Imagine being called old boy instead of young man. Um, I don't know. I just got it over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the old boy in the blue suit with the spiky hair. And one more thing. I'm sorry to have sprung this on you so suddenly. I received the files from your previous attorney only yesterday. Oh boy, sounds like something a senior gangster would be called. Yes! <laughs> Phoenix Wright was put on the case the day before the trial started. He didn't have time to request a forgery. The day before? 
Now here's a question. Just who was Shadi Enigmar's previous defense attorney? No. This can all be... Mm-hmm. But it is all true. There was another man. With a badge on his collar. It was you, Christoph Gavin. Order, order, order. We're nearing the end part. Well, what is the meaning of this? Witness, I mean defendant, or er, former lawyer. <laughs> the judge doesn't even know what to call Christoph anymore, guys. Objection! It's easy enough to look up, Mr. Gavin. Are you sure you don't have evidence? He looks clammy. Evidence! Evidence that shows this man, Chris of Gavin, requested the forgery seven years ago. He's willing to, you know, send Clavier. Look at him, so disappointed that the, his brother is not protecting him even though he's evil. Just prove it. Clear up these doubts now or I swear I'm off this case. Prosecutor Gavin looks like he's in physical pain, that darkness. I have to pull that darkness out of him and prove is the only way I can. Old boy sounds like a tall boy that has been left open for 24 hours. This letter. Objection! Are you telling the truth, Apollo Justice? I am. Then, then I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Very well, but if you're wrong about this, be prepared Objection! for a penalty. Wow, 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 the defendant himself is saying objection. Hello, Kay. This guy! Look at the penalty! Four bars! Fine, your honor. Here we go. The evidence... This evidence proves there's a link. That scrap of paper, I'm afraid I can let you submit that. How could you possibly have that? You couldn't? Hmm? <laughs> That's Mr. Wright's handwriting. Mr. Wright's handwriting? What is the meaning of this? Ah, I see now. Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? I had a visitor yesterday. Phoenix Wright came to my cell except I wasn't there. When I returned, I saw he had something of mine in his possession. Of course, I had no intention of letting him get away with reading my private mail. Mail, you mean this letter was in your cell? No. However, it appears Mr. Wright has yet to be cured of his bad forging habit. The handwriting's terrible! This is Mr. Wright's reproduction of what was written in the, in the real letter. He brought with him a small video camera. Look guys, look at his face. Look at his face. He recorded his entire conversation with you, Mr. Gavin. And the contents of your personal mail. You got it. Reg regardless, this mockery of a piece of evidence will never be accepted by the court. Evidence based on a video, a man who with no authority who whatsoever claims he took. Mm-hmm. 
Look, look at. And that is why this is the 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 case that Phoenix choose when it's the cur the court the, the prosecutor Kevin. As embarrassing as this is for me to say, I'm afraid my brother is incapable of making rational judgments at the moment. Your honor, your decision, please. The defense claim is denied. What? Only actual evidence is permitted in a court of law. Please remove the defense evidence from the record. Better luck next time, Justice. Objection! Or hold it. Well, we've certainly taken a detour. Oh no! They forgot that this is a trial uh, for a new um, system. The law is implementing wherein it's not just the judge. It's not the judge who decides, but the jury. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Alberto. Without evidence, I don't have anything I can use on him. Very well, this is... Clavier! <laughs> and this is why he's really my favorite prosecutor. The show's over, yet the crowd screams for more. Only now do I understand why. Prosecutor Gavin? Frankly, I'm relieved. This has been bothering me for seven whole years. And I'm tired of the whole youth youthful angst scene. Now's our chance. Let's clean out the family closet, eh, Christoph? Clavier, you're spinning out of control. Calm yourself before you say something you'll regret. Spinning out of whose control? Mine or yours? Take a moment to consider everything you've built. Your reputation as a prosecutor, your fame with the masses. You could lose it all, Clavier. He's trying to press Prosecutor Gavin. Prosecutor Gavin, try to remember what's really important to you. You amused me, her forehead. I couldn't forget what's really important to you even if I tried. In fact, I haven't. Not even once. Seven years ago... He has short hair, guys. Finally, you just couldn't resist, could you, her right? Resist what? Presenting solid evidence? Take your name and occupation for the record. Yeah, I noticed it too. I just didn't bother. <laughs> Titan. I'm familiar with the trial. I've watched the video several times. Did you find anything unnatural about it? Well, you did seem unusually well prepared. I mean, Mr. Wright had only just presented his evidence. And the next moment you call in Drew Misham, it was almost as if... Almost as if... What? You knew that he would present a forged evidence. Funny, it didn't even occur to me to wonder. But now that I do, I see there's only one possible explanation. Almost as if from the very beginning... You knew Mr. Wright was going to present that evidence. Correct. I knew that if I applied the usual pressure, Phoenix Wright would eventually come up with that forged diary page. Don't do this, Clavier. I knew because you told me, Crystal. Wh what? Yes. Uh, it was the night before the trial. Clavier, Christoph, odd seeing you at the prosecutor's office the day before the trial. Ooh, look, look at him, he looks so cool, guys. Ah, I won't be appearing in the trial, actually. Huh? Why not? I won't be facing off with you on your first trial, apparently. But in exchange, I brought information. Information? He's just so cool, you know? He's. It was okay, no worries, Alberto. I understood, you know, it typos happen, so don't you worry about it. 
is not to be trusted. Don't even give him the benefit of your respect. Listen, I want you to call in a special witness. Then... I wondered about it at that time. How did Kristoff know so much? Kristoff, you were so we were supposed to face each other in that trial. A fair fight brother to brother. I deserved that much. You let me borrow the victim's belongings. You showed me all your research on that case. My, my, Clavier, you disappoint me. You find trees yet miss the forest. You're the one missing the forest, Mr. Gavin. You can't sweep this under the rug. Not anymore. Tell me what was going on behind that trial. Why not? I achieved what I came here to do. I see no harm in a little reminiscing. Wow. I think we're finally going to sh shine a light on the black belly of this thing, Trissy. I hope it's enough. Seven years ago, the day before the trial, I visited the detention center at the request of my client. Two cards. Oh, they played poker as well. One card. Showdown time. Here we go, showdown time! Enough. You lose, Gavin. Thanks for the work, now go. Yes, he is, Alberto. To be honest, I don't know him, as far as I could tell. He dismissed me as his representation because I lost in a game of poker. I can come to a no other conclusion. If you want to know a man, you have to compete. Zack wasn't watching his points or the cards. He was watching the man behind the cards, Christoph Gavin. That's why he decided not to use take this guy as his lawyer. Couldn't believe it. Phoenix right? A second rate at oh, who relies on luck and bluffs? He dismissed me and went with that pitiful excuse for a man? He deserved... Oh, I'm not admitting to anything. My point is... These two men shamed me and I could not forgive that. Phoenix Wright and Zack both deserve what they got. So you could win. But then when you were dismissed as... You use your forged evidence as a trap. Oof. Oh ho. Oh. Then you gave your dirty evidence to him. You're free to imagine what you will. My point is that is that all I had imagined came to pass. Everything went perfectly. Too bad for you! <laughs> Let's save up because we need to make the final decision, guys. His 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 his, his pride and ego was hurt, Alberto, that's why. Incredible. If I wasn't laughing, I'd be perfectly You're mad, Christoph. Stop fooling yourself. What are you talking about, Clavier? Tell me, how did that trial end? Cancelled when the defendant vanished. Ah, I get it. So, Kristoff, you've been living in fear for seven years. What? You were afraid your forgery would be revealed and your reputation trashed. You couldn't leave things to chance, so you watch everyone involved with the case for seven years. You know, he always felt like he was being watched that month. He said every day for seven years. But I felt it too. Journalist, sure he is being watched and told. Guys, your favorite habit. Your favorite habit is here. 
Don't you wonder why Zack got revved out after seven years? <laughs> Lizard man. Uh-huh. Was he? Yes! He was Shady Smith. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. Shady Smith, was it? The details don't really matter right now. What matters is that traveler was Zack. That was your dad, Trucy. What is it, Apollo? Huh? Keep going. We'll talk about it later. Did she already know? Yes, she did. Someone please explain this. Mr. Justice, can you explain this? It all started seven years ago. The great magician Magnifi's death started it. Magnifi's death and his student Zack, the suspect. Whoever defended Zack in court, court successfully would be famous beyond belief. Thinking that Christoph Gavin did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. Drew Misham? Actually, it was his daughter, Vera, who really did the work. You took precautions when you had that forgery made, didn't you, Cav Mr. Gavin? Precautions. To keep people from talking, of course. These two know too much. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when you planned your poisoning of the forgers. A truckening. Applied to a commemorative stamp. But luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. His daughter. She saved him by taking the stamp, I see. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The nail polish, of course. You noticed something when you requested the forgery. When Vera Misham is nervous, she has a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. That nail polish was her good luck charm. She was almost kidnapped once. Since then, she's been, well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. That person gave me a good luck charm for when I absolutely had to go outside. It protects me. Yes, apparently she received something, a gift. She won't tell me what it was. It was from that client, the one who wanted that note made. It was his insurance. Insurance? As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. But what if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And the nail polish would do the rest. His time bomb sat there for seven years. And then, they went off almost simultaneously. And silence. Silence. If you're finished, may I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. Mr. Gavin, have you heard a single thing we said? Oh, I listened quite closely to your little tale. Quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier, surely you understand. We're back to the evidence. The lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the Atrokinin that took Mr. Drew Misham's life. What about the restaurant? You killed Zack to keep him from talking. It was shady. I killed no man of that name. Read over the report again if you like. The victim was a traveler by the name of Shady Smith about whom we little we know little else. You can seriously think I knew he was that particular fugitive. Okay, then why did you kill him? I plead my right to remain silent. Remember, this court did not convene to put me on trial. The defendant's name is Vera Misham, suspected in the murder of her father. My trial has been finished for six months now. Sky. Hmm. 
I'm afraid we have strayed considerably for, from our purpose here. No! But you were doing so well, Apollo. As long as there is no evidence to support the accusation against him. Nope. But it's already been six months, William. Since the body died. For a novice. Without direct proof, you have nothing. Isn't that right, Clavier? Unfortunately, yes, Christoph, you're right. That is. You would have been right until now. What? Did the news not reach your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. That's right. I totally forgotten. The jurist system. Jurists, you say. The current judicial system has been deemed too closed off from society. This new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law. Common citizens? Wisdom? Is this some kind of joke? What could we possibly gain by doing this? Like, like, look at look at his word, guys. Look at his words. Entrusting our judicial system to a mindless, emotional mob of irrational mouth breathers. Man. <laughs> yeah, he just got trolled, William. He just did. Common citizens have something called common sense. Common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense. Look at him. Look, 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 look at how... Look at his face, guys. He, 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 he. If that's not the devil, uh, I'm not. I'm not so sure. There is only oh, nonsense. There is only room for two in this court. Me and the law. Keep the riffraff out. Out, I say. They're not in the court, actually. They're watching everything by video camera. How can you allow this? Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen was Phoenix Wright. Fe Phoenix Wright? Taki. So, everything was leading to this. Of course. Right. 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 Oh, he's going super saiyan, guys. Okay, he just got super saiyan. Oh, 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 oh. Mister, are you still okay, Mister? Mister, are you still okay? Look, look at his face. Look at his hair. He's, he, he. Uh, okay, I won't accept. I can't accept. This is no court. Law. The law is everything. Law is absolute. You'd let ignorance wine soil your courts. And there's his true colors. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This isn't even his final form. Kristoff, it's over. Clavier, the law is absolute. You can't be serious. What? Odd, I thought you spent your life looking for loopholes. The law isn't absolute. It's filled with contradictions. Like a gem boy, Piggy. And it is always changing, growing. Nurturing it is our task as human beings. Except for you, Kristoff. You aren't changing. You've stopped. You're not needed anymore. 
I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday, I'll know what law is. And I'll fight to change it if I have to. I see no need for to further prolong this trial. This began as the trial of Vera Misham accused of murdering her father. The painter drew Misham, however, several other incidents were reviewed and we've seemed to have reached a conclusion. Before this court, court declares a verdict, I await your decision. You know, I'm gonna do this for the trophy. Just for the trophy. Jurist of the court. For the defense death of Drew Misham, how do you find the defendant Vera Misham? Innocent or guilty? I turn to you now to consider this matter. It's our turn, guys. To... October 9th, 12.48pm, Jurist's Chamber. This ends the trial for this case, only the verdict remains to be decided. The defendant, Vera Misham, is currently in intensive care. If a decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Misham's death? Did another poison person poison him? If so, she is innocent. That is all. Please, wait. Number six. We're number six, guys. Yes, jurist number six. There's something in the jurist handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. That is correct. I've looked into all your dossiers. None of you were involved with develop the development of the case. With the development of the case? I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdict. Make your decision in the case against Vera Misham. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely, judge well. Oh, see guys, we can save. I'ma just do this for the trophy, guys. Just for the trophy. We will load up. Did you see the glim? Did you see the thing? And so a verdict was reached on October 9th, 2014. A hung jury. The final verdict would have to wait for the following day. But fate had different plans. That night, defendant Vera Misham's con condition worsened. She died in her hospital bed. Her verdict was postponed for eternity. Ta -da. There we go. For choosing guilty as the jurist in episode 4. Load the game. Loading the game. It just wore the trophy. Okay. Well, she died, me. It was people watching TV. No, Ace. They they mentioned that the ju the jurors are watching the trial behind the video camera. So yes. But yeah, guys, did you see juror number six hand earlier? There's something familiar about it. I hope you guys did. But if not, then you'll see. You'll still be able to see it.
Here we go. Not guilty. Look, look closely. Can you can you see the the fabric of the clothing? Doesn't it look familiar? At the same time, ta da! The bracelet. It's a female. Me. That the clothing with yes, Apollo's mom, which is also Trusy's mom. And she's none other than La Mirwa, the, 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 the singer. It is it by unanimous decision. Yes, William, she does. That when the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. A laugh louder than any ever heard before or since. A laugh that echoed in the halls of justice, lingering for what seemed like hours. October 10th, 8.30 a.m., the morning after the trial, in an intensive care ward, a true miracle occurred. Vera Misham opened her eyes. Of all the clinics she has to go to, it's the guy with the... the the guy with the creepy, the doctor with the creepy doctor. It's the, it's that place. Oh come on, what the heck? Vera, I'm so glad I don't cry. Is she even here? No, she's not here. I'm happy too and proud. You did well, Apollo. When I thought about what if Vera, I. Hey now, don't you start crying too. I'm um, sorry you had to see us like this. Aww, her smile. She looks so adorable. Vera, thank you so much, Apollo. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pressed you like that. If I hadn't, it never would have been in your nails. No, I was wrong. Staying locked inside like that, clinging to my good luck charm. When I opened my eyes and I saw you, I finally understood. It's important to be a part of the world, to see things with your own eyes. Yes, Alberto, they're half-siblings. It looks like that poison had some effect after all. It killed off whatever was holding Vera back from life. I knew you'd pull through, Vera. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting for the whole time. Your future. I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. No, really, it's okay. Trucy! Oh, look, it's me. I love it. Thanks. <laughs> I I feel so sorry for Apollo. <laughs> only his only his hair. And it's just it's not even his whole hair. Now Ace they can <laughs> Is is that me? She really captured your essence, Apollo. Well I think so, at least Perfect point. Yes, just the antenna. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? The other lawyer? Oh, you mean daddy? Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. No, it's okay. I'm sure looking away from the things I've done. I hope I can look him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He, he brought all those things for me. When he came to visit earlier. You mean that stack of videos? Mr. Wright finished watching them all? You know? He, she knew. I was there seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. You did? How? I'm not telling. He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time, Trucy, but know this. I will be watching, and one day, I shall return. You're the next? Aww, Grammarly, after all. No. No, Alberto, we will not be going down that route. Oh, Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix, aww. <laughs> Even if he can't really play the piano. 
that he can't. Oh, and I've got you too. Even if your voice is kinda loud sometimes. Glad I made your list. Hey, come to think of it. Where is... You know, Daddy, the one who can't play? Do you know Apollo? I think he said he'd meet... He had to meet someone. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's a new mommy. <laughs> it's a new mommy. <laughs> it's your real mom, you know? Hehe. <laughs> oh, Trissy. Hmm? Yes, Vera? I was wondering. Could you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, what it, was it? Oh, he's not been knighted yet. Here goes. Do us an impersonation, Mr. Hat. Objection. Ahem. <laughs> not loud enough. And I like Miss Magic Underwear better anyway. The magic panties again. <laughs> not again. That's magic panties, Apollo. Magic underwear. Miss Magic underwear. <laughs> so, your memories returned? Mr. Wright, was this all part of your plan too? I don't know what you're talking about. When I lost my memory, I was reborn. But you knew my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. Ah, you're thinking into, thinking into it too much. Besides, there was no guarantee that regaining your memory would make you happy. Of course, it is a happy thing. For so long, I thought I was alone. But now I know I have children. Two dear children. I'm so proud of them. This too, I think, is thanks to you. Are you going to tell them? They do not know? No. Nope. They don't know their mother. They don't even know their siblings. I will go to them when the time is right. Until then, I... Don't worry, I'll take care of them for you. They're... They're very important to me, too. A little annoying at times, but still, I have to keep an eye on her, at least. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels on the inside. Your bracelet. Yes, I've seen a lot of mysterious things this past seven years. But your bracelets were the strangest of all. Yes, Apollo is old enough. I remember meeting him half a year ago now in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you. Two fates decide destined to intertwine and I was there when they crossed. I'll never forget that. Such a small thing, that bullet, yet it tore who I was away. I think so? Phoenix was moving like Dumbledore in this game. Yes, Sonic. That's why this is really my favorite um, installment of the se in the entire series. Because when you finally figured out, um, finish the final case, everything will be like, Oh, they're all really connected. Just like the other, you know, other series, other parts of other games. But it's just that the plot and the story is just really nice in this game. Game. Also, tell them their siblings before they grow attached to each other in a romantic way. <laughs> if Ash Ketchum can travel the world risking his life handling magical monster at his age, Apollo can practice law. There's no lawyers in Pokemon though. 8D chess this entire game. <laughs> 10 years ago during a simple rehearsal. It was a miracle no one died, but I didn't survive that accident because she lost her memories. That is why I left the troop, my family. Now, my memory has returned. I am myself once more. For the first time, I'm glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Speaking of miracles, Vera Misham regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is a strange thing, Faith. Sometimes a life is taken, sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. As long as they've got something worth living for. And that's pretty much the end of my story. For now, anyway. Still got a long way to go and this power of mine, well, it still needs some work. 
But there's hope now. We've lost it, but somehow we found it again. That's why people are smiling again. Hope. Yeah, I think I'll keep at this lawyer thing for a while. Oops, trading time. Gotta go. Courts of Steel. Here comes justice. Objection! Yes, I've played all... I think... I've played um entire trilogy of Phoenix Wright. I'm glad you're staying with the agency Apollo. It's like I found my long lost big little brother. Oh, and don't you worry about the troop grammar. Choosy's on the case. Now that I have this. Choosy grammar. Frankly, I got my doubts, but hat grammar. Now they'll pack him up. It's my favorite prosecutor. It's not every day you get a trial that rocks harder. That's why it's over. The governors are breaking up. <gasps> no! The news calls a run on tissues at supermarkets nationwide. You're the real stars now. I look forward to our next jam session. He's focusing on being a prosecutor now, guys. Yes, we finished this first game of the trilogy. But it's finally over, you know, thinking about it. I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. <laughs> now that everything started and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll take some lessons. Or maybe I'll take the bar exam again. He's returning back to his lawyer duties. Let's go, Phoenix. Next. Oh, it's Emma. <laughs> She's eating snackoos again. So I was standing around eating snackoos the other day when I got this crazy idea. What if they were golden? You couldn't. You could accidentally crunch and better get the thing. And the power of science, although the preservatives might not be 100% safe. Here she goes again with her snackoos. In an unlikely event, you are wanting Russian peas to come to the Borscht Bowl Club. The only thing called in this is... Da, but if greater challenges is being required... Then come to the hideout. You know who to ask for. Like, she's just so timid and then she, she looks like a pirate. It's Plum! So, Kitaki Pastries is getting back to its eastern roots, spread the culture and all. Yo, boss, culture time! This is how we write root, capiche? But we're still about giving back to the people. Yo, boss, PR time! And this is how we write people, alright? Not that Walkie's paying any attention. Woo, kids. Those are Mafia, guys. For those of the people who don't know, those are people from Mafia. Caterpillar Eyebrows is back. It's Bizoy. Chinese characters on cake was a fly idea like 3,000 years ago. Man, you wanna make it today, gotta keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why I made the OG cracker. For real. I know it doesn't look like no cracker G, what you want me to call it? The OG muffin? Yeah, well they're Yakuza, but in the game because it's been serialized, you know, they call it the Mafia. Oh no, it's it's Aldun. I know where all this talk about food is coming from. You asked me there's only one food and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one too. See this time I just put a big chunk of salt in the bowl. 
Why pretend Eldon's noodles is about the salt? Salt forever! Sure, me, bye bye. Thanks for dropping by. My exceptionally inquisitive nature has won me. And I don't want to read sticklers. He, he, his, his, his words are so long. Wesley Sicko. He's a sicko. He's a sicko. Here's the sickle, guys. Yeah, most likely that's why Sonic. But it's too, you know, it's too. Oh, she's so pretty! I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. Life has returned to my life and with it, joy. I may have lost years, but I have gained a treasure. Two treasures, in fact. I will think of them when I read my next song. She's so, you know... Oh guys, it's your favorite Brusha Brusha Brusho. Brusho here back on the beat with another interview. Eh? How do I feel about how things turned out? No scope yet, but journalist confidence in mint condition. End quote. I like that this photograph is that part. <laughs> Oh, Vera, I've decided to keep painting. Originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to see a bit of the world outside to find what to paint. But I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. The door is open. The world is waiting. Thank you. That was his tie. His tie. Ace his tie. Look, this is what she drew. Ah, Apollo, Trucy, and Mr. Hat. I like everyone's reaction. Ooh Congrats! You've unlocked a special bonus in the music and background settings. Oh, my controller died. I want to see that photo. No, 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 not yet. Title screen because I want to see the new photo. Clavier looks so awesome there. Oh, I was supposed to do this thing. Animation. Oh, no, not the animation. Objection. Art library! Like, look! The siblings! Look at the character design! Like, Apollo over here? He looks so cool! Like this guy, he looks so cool. Even this... This guy, he looks like a kid. Oh, I like... I like Apollo with this look. Look at Trizzy! He looks adorable as a kid. Look, looky. He was supposed to have a mask or something? Oh, what? Oh, okay. She's pretty adorable here. Mr. Hat! 
all different kinds of Mr. Hat. Oh, Phoenix. You guys like fe seeing Phoenix like this in this look, right? Look. Oh. He looks creepy. He still looks creepy. All the time. I you love homeless Phoenix. Oh Like look He still has some of the you know outfit. I love here. I like He doesn't look good with those glasses of his brother. Oh. Nah, I prefer what he looks like right now. Emma. Shady. Oh, there's only one page for Emma and even Sh Oh, Olga. Eldun! Alita. Oh, the three. Walkie Taki. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go to your favorite, guys. Let's go to your favorite character. Ah, Vera. Here he is, guys. Here he is. I don't know, Ace. I don't know. Look. He was supposed to look like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Sonic. And why is he naked? No, he's naked. He's naked. That was his human form before the position. I don't know. I don't know, Eric. <laughs> if you want to stop, it's okay. I didn't notice. Let's go back. Let's go back. He's naked. Ace is naked. <laughs> yes, I enjoy Pokemon. Yes, I enjoy Pokemon Slump. Hello, Uriel. Hi. I don't know why he's naked. Don't ask me. She's just so pretty. Oh, it's... It's ten pain. Oh, no. I don't want to see that doctor. You know, I'd, I'd rather see Brushel than this creepy doctor. Thank you, Uriel. <laughs> oh, Detective Gumshoe. Oh, wait. We've got back. Oh, it's this guy. So yeah, I'll just show you this thing. This is the next um one. Edgeworth is back, guys. Edgeworth is back. And look, Pearly is even here. Clavier. And look at what Apollo looks like. He looks cool. See? Look at the tough... He looks like a tough guy. Apollo. Yes. Oh, you wanna see... Look. Ta-da. So this Phoenix, Apollo. Woohoo, Xavier. And look at Apollo over here. He looks... Even Edgeworth. Spirit of Justice. Are you pertaining to this thing? Someone was asking where the thing where Apollo is in different like country. 
Oh, even Larry is back. Okay, guys, it's Trucy's infamous magic panties. This is everyone from the entire trilogy. Crystal, Phoenix, Trucy, Apollo, Clavier, Mr. Hat, and Emma. Okay, we still can't see those things. Oh, oh, oh. See, this is why. This is I that what the reason why I think. Jersey Spansu versus Asha Spansu. Oh, here. I'm gonna show you something, guys. Why I don't like the doctor. Why I don't like that doctor. Where is he? Here. Like look 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 at the the, the title. Look and then Which is why I don't like him. I don't like him at all. See? I'd rather prefer looking at Brushel than this scary creepy doctor. Like look. Oh, it's speaking of... He's your favorite, guys! And that's when he's laughing. When he's thinking, taking notes, sniffing on a scoop. <laughs> Surprise, cold sweat. Oh, so that's when he's sweating. Taking damage. Here you go, guys. Take it in, guys. Take it in. Let me hide the UI for you. There. See? See? No, Alberto. No. No. Yeah, let's return to the title now. Let's end the game. Let's just stay in chatting for a bit so I can just chat with you guys. And since I mentioned that, you know, we're, we reached the 1k thingy, then that means I get to show you something. Just, 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 da -da 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 -da. let me just find the thing for you guys. Remember, as mentioned, that once we reach a thousand subs, there will be something that I will show you guys. Where do I have it? Where did I keep it? I forgot. I forgot where I, I kept the thingy. And this is not good. My, my brain is not braining, so I forgot where I put the thingy. Eh uh hey. -huh. Where did I place that thing? Hello? Oh, I think it's supposed to be here, but wait a minute. Oh, let's go to chatting for a bit. So you guys could hear some music. Because there's no music. No, where's the edited version? I'm looking for the edited version. It's not here. Huh? Where are you? Where did I keep the thingy? I forgot, guys. I forgot. It's supposed to be just here, but it, I can't find it. Or is it in the downloads thingy? Though I doubt it. 
da, 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 da. Still searching for the thing that I gotta show you guys. But you know, just wait for a bit, guys. I'll be able to find it sometime soon. I hope. But anyway, once again, I would just like to say thank Sonic for, you know, gifting that game to me because it's really one of my most liked games, I could say. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, come out wherever you are. And I can't find it. Where did I place that thing? Oh, it's here. It's here. So, I don't know if you guys saw the thingy, but here it goes. I'm, 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 I'm a bit... I think I'm gonna get covered, but yeah. Oh, no, I did not. So, here it is. Uh, so, this is the full edit that I made for the members thingy. But then, I'ma just show, you, show, the, show to you guys the art itself. Where is that thing? Where is that thing? That thingy. Here, here. I'm a cover chat for a bit. Ta-da! So it's an it's one of the new artworks, the latest artworks so far. I just liked it so much. It's so nice. Look, look. Let me make it a bit smaller for a bit, guys. Just, just. There you go. So look, looky. I'm covering chat, but it's okay, chat. You get covered. And then for those people wondering about the boots, here's the boots. Ta-da! But you know, there you go. So I might be changing my profile photo on Discord and maybe even on YouTube with this thing. So yes. You know? It's been quite some time since we had an unofficial... Um, illustration so yes so that's the thing look i like that i like the way you know the, i like the pose it's like ano josha Ta-da! let's put it here a, a bit a bit more smaller come on there you go covering chat for a bit but there it looks like that or maybe I could hide myself. I'ma hide myself. There. So you guys can see what it really looks like properly. While I am hidden. Ta-da! So it's just nice. I just found it so adorable. Especially the facial expression. So, yeah. Let me pet her. Why you wanna pet? Like, look at the face. Look at the Let's look at the details properly. Look. See? I like the expression. It's so gentle and stuff. It's like the Ojo-san. Ojo-san. Ojo-san bow or something. <laughs> See? Yes. And then the boots. There is the boots. The boots. And ta -da, it's just so nice to look at, so calming, so it's just so adorable. So that's the thing that I said I will be um, showing to you guys on, you know, on the thousand sub thingy. So here you go, guys. Here you go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just put that away now and then be back. I am back. Hello, Saul. Thank you, Saul. Thank you. So yes. That's the new art. I don't know if the other girls also has new art. If they have, then, then I might have not seen it yet. But I am so excited to see them there is as well. So yes, that's the new official art. So I think I might be changing my profile with that art. Because that art is just so adorable. Really, really adorable. And then the art was made by the artist um, Pen underscore underscore camp. So thank you so much, Pen. That artwork is really nice and really wonderful. I really enjoyed it, and it's 
one of the things that I really found adorable. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the art. Thank you guys. You don't know how much your artwork is really really gives us happiness. So thank you so much. Just please no cursed art. I don't know if my eyes can bear the cold. The you know the cursed art and also um super are you here? Are you here? I've heard that you also helped organize the thingy. So thank you so much. I appreciate the help and for all of the mods as well. Thank you so much for all of the things you do for us. We might not know everything because I know there might be some stuff that you guys do, at, you know, at, at the back that we don't notice. But I just want to say thank you to you guys because, you know, just like right now, super help organize that and yeah. I don't even I didn't even ha have any idea but thank you so much. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Have manager son filter your art first. <laughs> manager son will filter the art. Okay, okay. <laughs> and nobody no no nobody do curse art of Isa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you guys. I really really am grateful to have all of you guys around, you know. Um it's we've just been we just started this journey for like last year in a few months but you know it's been a really nice and fun journey with having you guys around you the support and the love that i i and the other girls get from you guys really is nice and means a lot so thank you so much guys you don't know how much i appreciate all of you guys for being here i know i always say it i know you know i I try to be vocal about it because I don't even know what I can do to just show my appreciation to you guys. So I just try to tell it to you guys, you know, on a daily thing. Just so you know that you guys are, you know, we appreciate all of you guys for all of your support and your... And all of the stuff that you guys keep on giving us. So thank you so much for all of the games. You know, I know we weren't, we might not be able to play all of them on stream, but we try our really best to play them. And even if we don't play them on stream, we will, we actually play them sometimes off stream. So all of the gifts, all of the games that you guys give gift us is really really appreciated so thank you so much guys thank you and then for the members thank you so much for you know being a member and staying as a member because um it's just nice to have you guys around and to be able to play with you guys and then also um during the discord specials it's nice to have the tier team members and up be present like you know we just get to watch mo watch movies or do some stuff and play games or something it's just nice so thank you so much for the members it really means a lot to have you guys around so thank you for remaining as our loyal members it's really nice to have you know just you guys being members so thank you i appreciate everyone from tier one tier two three tier three and tier four so thank you and then for those people who also give us donations tips and stuff like that Thank you so much guys because it really helps us a lot a lot. So thank you. I really appreciate all of those things. So yeah, it's nice to have it really nice to have you guys around. You don't know how you know how happy I am to have you guys around because um your support really is nice and the mere fact that you guys always try to keep um not just the stream but the entire our entire community as a safe space wherein everyone can just be pretty much chill have fun and you know no one's getting too pressured or being uncomfortable so it makes me really happy because that's really one of the things that i want to be able to provide for people as a you know as someone who streams i just want to you know let oh Hello, manager son. Thank you for being a member. <laughs> Thank you so much, manager son. <laughs> manager son. Thank you. So yes, um, as I was, what else I was mentioning, I just got distracted by the thing. <laughs> Everyone, 
Let's appreciate the presence of Manager San being here. Hello, Manager San. Thank you for being here. And yeah, uh, as I was saying, um, yeah, I appreciate all the. Um, I really wanted to be able to make a, a safe space in the you know in this community because I know it's very rare. So, so I'm really glad and really happy whenever you guys mentioned that, you know, the streams make you feel better or the streams keep you company and keeps you you know just comfy and we're in if you're having a bad day your day gets better so you know for me that's a good you know a job well done because i was able to help you guys you know like have a, at least a little bit of a safe space to wherein you can just relax and pretty much just even for just a moment forget about you know life's troubles and difficulties so Yes, guys, thank you so much for always being here. Oh, hello, Hideki. You're late again. It's okay, but thank you for being here. Welcome, manager son, to the guild. Yes. <laughs> they never were. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, Saul. Oh no. <laughs> but yes, guys, you know, um, I really am glad I started you know streaming because if i didn't i wouldn't be able to meet like all of you guys all of you wonderful people here so thank you so much guys for um being present in my journey uh, well technically not my journey in our journey here on streaming because as i always mentioned this journey is not only mine but everyone else because everything that i get to achieve is because of all of your help so that's why if you would notice i would always say it's our milestone because if it weren't for you guys i wouldn't be able to reach these milestones like the 500 sub and now for the thousand one so you know i just like to say thank you so much guys thank you very much for you know um being with me here in my journey and i'm really glad that i made this decision to you know start streaming and stuff because if it's not i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't meet lots of you guys here and just getting to know you guys and just spending being able to spend time with you guys on stream talk to you guys during chat and stuff is really nice so just like what i i know i always mentioned this before but um even the reason why I don't get tired even if I try if I stream daily like you know seven days a week is because I actually find it nice and com comforting to be you know streaming and just talking to you guys it's like I'm just yeah, playing games but I get to still spend time with um, the members and the viewers and chat so it's really nice and I don't find it draining at all instead it's one of the things that makes me really happy if I have to be honest so yeah I I really appreciate your concern of me being you know might I might be getting tired or not resting enough because I am streaming like seven days a week back then but no really it's really one of the things that really makes me happy and makes my day brighter so yes guys I'm really grateful that i have you guys around so thank you so much for all of your support from the people who have been here from the very beginning to the people who, who have been here in the middle and even for the new ones i really appreciate all of you guys all of the gifts the games the donations the tips the memberships and even you know your time and presence every stream it's just really nice to have to see you guys like always being present on the stream as much as you can because i know sometimes there is still stuff we gotta do in life so we end up not being able to, you guys end up not being able to come to the stream but the mere fact that you guys tried your tried your very best to be present even if it's just for a short while really means a lot because i know how each day might be you know there might you might have a lot of things going on around but you guys still try your best to show up so it's it's really nice so thank you so much guys i really appreciate all of the things that you always do for us so thank you so much i do appreciate everything that you guys give us i know i might not be able to name it one by one but really every time um we get to receive gifts or stuff from you guys all that your support it really makes us happy and you know it just 
so heartwarming to have you guys around. Mm -hmm. What what what's going on here? What? Okay, every time one of the girls says manager son is sleeping, they pop up. <laughs> Glad you can you, you decided to keep on. Yes. Mm hmm. Now, Sonic, we'll get there when we get there. As I say, there's always, you know, everyone has our own pace and we get there when it's our time. But, you know, we just, but as I, you know, whenever you guys have a goal, I know it's nice to focus on the goal, but don't forget to take a look around the journey as well. Because sometimes even, you know, the, the path to the, to the goal is also very important. So, you have to enjoy every single part of the journey because you can never go back to it any any longer. So, learn, you have to appreciate each step of the way to the top. So that when you get there, you can still have plenty of things to look back from. And you will, you will be proud by saying, Oh, I was able to achieve this and this happened as I was, you know, going... I was reaching for this goal. So, yes. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's okay. I appreciate you guys even if you can if you're not really that um active in chat because I know sometimes you guys might still might have work or school but you guys lurking around still means a lot to me and if there are some people lurking because you guys are pretty shy to chat please don't be shy. Everyone here is pretty nice. You don't need to get scared because I know sometimes chat can be scary but that's one thing that I am you know proud of i can say it proudly that chat here is really nice and good it's not that scary so yes mm -hmm. all that matter is the journey itself to make personal moments for all of them yes that is correct Ty alberto that is correct so if anyone's here who's pretty shy because of you know chatting don't be shy guys you can, you know, talk to everyone here and you, who knows, you might be able to gain some new friends to talk to and play some games with. And yeah, gain some new friends. So go ahead, guys. Don't be shy. You're all welcome here in chat. So yeah, guys, it, it's been quite a journey for, for now, but I know we'll still go for, you know, far and stuff like that. So thank you. Your end of stream speeches always warm my heart. Um, I'm really glad like that, Sonic, because, you know, that's one of the things that I want to share with you guys as well. That's why if you would have noticed, sometimes even when I ended, you know, I finished playing the game, I would still end up like talking on chat for like 30 to 40 minutes or even an hour. Because I just get, I guess I just like spending time with you guys talking about stuff like this. Because I think this is one of the things that I can do to give back for all of the support that you guys have always shown me and the other girls. So this is the time when I try to get spend time with you guys. Because I know during games sometimes I tend to focus too much on the game. I, I'm, I'm neglecting chat and I am guilty of that. I know. So I tried to make up for it by still, you know, checking out, um, reminding you guys on at the end of the stream to take good care of yourself and stuff like that. Because that's one of the things that, you know, I feel like I can do to show that I really appreciate all of you guys here. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you guys being here. It's, you know, it's just really nice to see that everyone the familiar names each and every stream it's like oh it's this it's this person again they're here again like it's just nice to figure out that there are really people who really enjoy um our content which is why you guys always go back and get spend some time with us so thank you guys you don't know how much i really appreciate you guys i don't know how i could properly express it in, in but you know i can I think I can only express it in words, but I hope that's pretty much enough to let, make you guys feel that I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So, yes. Um, What else am I supposed to say? If I have to be honest, 
I'm just saying things as I go. I'm not. I didn't prepare a speech. It's that's what I always just do every single end of the stream. I would just like I would just say things that I want to say to you guys, and it's just whatever that pops up into my brain. Mm hmm. That's just what I always do. I don't prepare it. I don't have a you know a script or something. Oh oh, wait wait. Speaking of which, since you hit 1k subs, will we have just chatting scenes sometime? And again, manager son, um, apparently they want some just chatting streams. Would we, are we, you know, allowed to do that? There you go, Saul. I'm asking manager son here. You know, can we just have a, a you know, a, a stream where it's just chatting? Because I think apparently they've been asking for a just chatting stream for quite some time now. <laughs> so I was already sad that I just wasn't able to read the chat. I wasn't looking at chat, okay? I'm so sorry. Whenever I'm speaking the speeches, I don't look at chat because I get distracted. <laughs> I get distracted and I, I get lost track so I don't remember what I last said. That's why... If I'm speaking like that, I don't pretty much look at chat and then just look at chat back when I'm already done. Oh! Yeah, if, you know, if it's if it's possible, then maybe I could do more just chatting, just chatting streams, you know? I haven't asked manager son about it yet. Ah, thank you for the 10 Sonic. I appreciate it. Also know that I know you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I can't stop imagining you playing a match against Elena. Summoning Exodia and yelling, Exodia! Obliter obliterate! Imagining Elena Skyba is hilarious. <laughs> she's... So are you saying I'm... I'm Atem and she's... Um, Kaiba? Yes, I still remember his real name. I still remember his real name. Just chatting and poking around the internet with chat is a pretty regular YouTuber thing. Oh, it's just that, you know, we're mostly used to playing games, but yeah, maybe I, we could explore that thing, Ace. We could. If she's a Yu-Gi-Oh player, then we need to get her into Cyber Dragons. What is Cyber Dragons? Yes, I even collected, um, I even have the... I even have the three gods, like the Winged Dragon of Ra, Obelisk the Tormentor, and Slifford the Scythe... What, what, what's the dragon? I, I forgot the thing. Slifford the Scythe... Sl Sl Slifford the Sky Dragon. Okay, it was Sky. I forgot the thing. But yeah, I also, I, al I also had those cards when I was, you know, back collecting it back then. So yes, I tried to collect them. And I even have this um, blue eyes white dragon. Triple blue eyes white dragon. And what's that guy's name again? I forgot because it was it was in Japanese. I had like my blue eyes and my triple blue eyes white dragon is in Japanese characters. Yes, super. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help for organizing the promotional art. I will be using that uh, and changing my profile. Thank you, Super. I appreciate the help. Yes, uh, season one. I like the season one. I don't know, but I just really like it that much. Because I wasn't able to keep up with the Yu-Gi-Oh things. There's plenty of, you know, new monsters that I don't even know. And even the linking and the thingy. I, I don't know about those stuff any longer. It's like I'm always at the first generation, like in, even in Pokemon. I, I'm not, I don't know about the older, ge the newer generations now, but yeah. Dark Magician. No, it's not Dark Magician. It's like, um, it's like a, a huge flaming dinosaur or, or I don't know. I forgot his name because... It's in Japanese and I and I can't remember it. But yeah, it's a huge. Wait, is it? 
It's it kind of looks like Grudon from Pokemon, but not really Grudon. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, something like that. Something like that. I forgot. Yes, I've watched the original Yu-Gi-Oh show, but it's only until Hatem. I don't. I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh GX and the following things, so I don't know about those things. But you know, the original one, we're in. It's Yugi, and then trying to find out the memories of Atem. I I watched those. I watched that show. Yeah, it's it looks like Grudon, but it's not really Grudon from Pokemon. It, it's somewhat similar to Grudon of Pokemon. I forgot his name, but he's like a lava monster thingy. I think I'm not sure who's. No, it's not the lava with the cage, okay? I remember that thing. But it's like... A, 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 I forgot, but you know. Yeah. Have you seen the abridged version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or just... No, no, it's not the, the one. Wait, wait. It's not love... Not Lava Golem. Is it Lava Golem? No, it's not. It's not Lava Golem. I already know about Lava Golem, but... Wait, wait. It's a purple, bluish card. That needs a lot of, you know, sacrifices to... Ah, I forgot what his name. I forgot the thingy. No, it's not Red Eyes Black Dragon. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try to find out. Oh, no. No! I forgot. But it's a dragon thingy. I no, no, not that guy. But it's... A, it's a, a... What's it thing? It has a lot of stars. It has the same stars as... Um, they're called Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Why is there no triple blue eyes white dragon here? Dark lava rock dragon. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, no, no. Why is it not showing the Yu Gi Oh thing? No, it's not lava dragon. What is that thing? I forgot. Uh, I'm gonna find the I'm gonna find Yu Gi Dragon cards from Yu Gi Oh. Is that even a dragon? I don't know if it's a dragon, but I think it is a dragon. Let me try to find it. Oh oh oh! Let's add fire. No 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 no. Ooh, blue, blue eyes, ultimate. Okay, not that. I can't find it. Nope, it doesn't want to show itself. It doesn't want to show itself, guys. I am so sorry, but is it? It's in Japanese, so I don't remember the thing. I just don't remember the thing. But he's cool. He looks cool. But it's a purple card. It's a purple card. Yes, a 12 star. No, it's not Elemental 5-Headed Dragon. Spooky horror card game. You were the card player all along. I collected Pokemon cards. I collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I, there's even a time where I collected um, Card Captor Sakura cards. <laughs> yes, there. That's a thing. That's a thing. I collected those cards for some reason, and I have them. Oh, and I even played the Pokemon card trading card game in um, Game Boy. You know, we're in your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is 
that's what I, you know, always did. I'm still trying to search for the thing and I still can't find it. Oh well, if I can't find it, then I can't. I'm so sorry, guys. I just can't. It doesn't want to show itself. It doesn't. No, it doesn't have five heads. It, there's, it's only one. It, it only has one head. I think it is a drag. It, is it a dinosaur? I don't even know. But it's a. I think it's a pretty rare thingy. I give up. It doesn't want to show itself, guys. I am so sorry. But yeah. Blue eyes. Da -da 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 -da. I'm still trying to search for it, but uh, it doesn't want to show itself. Oh well. What? Five head? No, it's not the five headed dragon. Believe me, it's not five headed. No, it's not that dragon. It's just one that it looks like a dinosaur. It's not that thing. And the, the entire thing is just red, black, and it's like a lava thingy. Lava, lava dinosaur thingy. No, it's not Thousand Dragon as well. The dragon is really looks like it's lava. It's just really hard to remember. Nope, it's not five headed dragon. Violet eyes. Twilight dragon. What? So many new names. But it's from a new. It's a new. It's just from the old thingy. No, it's not the violet eyes twilight dragon. It's red. It's red. Zeno. I think it's not a dragon. I think it's really a dinosaur. Nope, nope, not that dino. He, he's he's huge. He's huge. Like he what? Oh, the no. Is it this one? No, it's it's not this one, but it looks like this one. It looks like the dragon meteoro thingy. What's this thing? I think that's not its real name. Is it this real name? Nope. Nope. It looks like this, but it doesn't. It's not like this. This black, this black dragon. Meteor black dragon? No, no, it's. Not that. It looks like something like that, but it's not that. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the thing, the meteor black dragon, but I think it's not that. I forgot. Oh, uh, well, what's something like that? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna find the... Where is that? Meteor Black... It looks like Meteor Black Dragon. Wait. Meteor Black Dragon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just save the thing, guys. And I'm gonna show it to you guys. There's da, 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 da. Here. Tada! It looks like this, I think. But it's not really like this. <laughs> Let's go! There, it looks like this thing. I think. But it doesn't look like. But it's not that thing. I think Red eyes black meteor dragon There's the thing
It's been quite some time since I last saw the card, so I am not sure. Heart of the cards, show me. It's from the original one, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Meatball Black Dragon. <laughs> what is that thing? Okay. <laughs> Blowfish Ultimate Dragon Roll. <laughs> Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon. Eyes Black Skull Dragon. Yes, I think it is the red eyes one. Yeah, I think so. The black skull one. <laughs> or maybe it's a different artwork. Yeah, maybe so. Because it's in Japanese, really. And the, and the name of the thingy is actually like... um, In silver? Yeah, it's the name is in silver and it's in written in Japanese characters. What what is Alba Lenatus thingy? Wait, wait. That's why I can't remember the thing, you know? Oh no, it's not that one, manager son. Metal Green <laughs> Why did we go to Digimon, okay? Exodia Exodia Yeah, I have Exodia as well I completed all of the, you know, all of the pieces of Exodia Um Wait, let me try to find out which Yu-Gi-Oh games I have played before Like, I have played a lot of them Um I think I've played... Oh wow, come on. No, 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 not that one. But it's mostly all about Yugi. Uh, huh. So I played one in... Which is, I think it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I remember when it's really hard to fuse monsters there because if you try to fuse them then it they don't fuse your previous monster even though it was pretty will just be thrown away which is sad which is sad and then I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses it's when in there's a blue and red Side, if I remember correctly And then what's the other one? Uh, which capsule monster? There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh capsule monsters I didn't know about that thing But I think I just played the original one The, the Yu-Gi-Oh capsule monster Coliseum Okay, that's the thing that I played yes and i really like moving the the capsule monsters like they're in you know we're like you're like playing chess or something it's really nice i know what the oh that was a long i wish i had the egyptian god cards master jewel but I think there's a, there's the new ones now and there's a lot of new added Hello Koneko chan added features like the linking thingy. And I don't and you know I don't know about the thing. Yes, it was not a ca card one, the capsule. Koneko chan you might fall. Can you not can you not can you not go please? I'm trying to put you down so you don't fall. Oh, typical orange cat behavior again. Mm -hmm. They keep telling people to steal people's soul by defeating them in the children's card game and then banishing them to the shadow realm.
Oh, you got some Pokemon. Pokemon cards. I think the best one that I had was a Lugia one. I had a Lugia Pokemon card. Hey. Yeah, I think so. If I remember properly. Thousand card. There was like thousands cards made when Yu Gi Oh first came out. How many cards? <laughs> still, my favorite Pokemon of all time is still Gengar. Gengar. I don't know. I just like Gengar. But yeah, those are the games that I've played in Yu Gi Oh. How about let's? Since we, this one was mentioned, I try to. I'm trying to find out which games that I've played here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and then since we got into this thing, since someone mentioned Metal Greymon and Digimon, I've played Digimon World, where in it's like um, Monster Rancher, you know. And then what's the thing? I think is it Digimon World Three, where in you know the dungeon. Yeah, Digimon World 3, I think I also played that thing. And then... What's this? I have Cyber Sleuth, but I haven't finished it yet. The Hacker's Memory version, not the other one. Apparently, there are two types of Cyber Sleuth. Oh, and speaking of that, um, I also have mini figures of um, Digimon and even Pokemon. <laughs> I keep... I collect them. I collect them! Yes, Monster Rancher is really one of the greatest games. I really like that, you know, especially when you're trying to um trying to use other CDs just to be able to find out which monster monster you're going to get. I really like that feature. Oh. Nope, I don't think there's cards. Wait, there is a card game? Digimon card game? There is. There is. I like Monster Rancher. But you know. And the best part, I had I got a Digivice. I have a Digivice that pretty much like a pedometer like every hundred steps or every hundred shakes you encounter a digimon uh, that you gotta fight and then then if you lose the fight um, um if you lose the fight your 100 steps or thingy will revert to zero will go back and then you have to lower the counter again <laughs> so but yeah that's the, the thing and it's still alive. I don't know how long this Digivice is. I don't know when that Digivice was released, but I have still have it. Wait, wait, wait I, I, I mean, let me try to find my Digivice. Oh, oh, it's this one. But a different colored one. I think it's supposed to be that color. But yeah. Let me find. Oh, it's this one. It's exactly this one. Let me save it. Let me save the photo. And then I will show it to you guys. It's this one. Oh, it's so small. It's so tiny. It's this one. I have one like this. Exactly like this. And yes, you can choose whichever Digimon you want from the, you know, the seven. I think there's seven, right? And then there's even a car, you know, a like thingy. That's good night, Scorpio. So yes, that's the thing that I have. A Digim, a di that Digivice. I never, I remember Digimon card game, never played it, but the cards were cool to have. But 
But you know, it's still the old thing, so you don't... It's really hard to see the thingy. Oh, look. Look, I'ma show you to you guys what it looks like when you're trying to attack an enemy. I saw one and on... on. Look, look, look. Ta-da! Look! That's the attack. Two attacks over there. It's attacking and, and you can connect them to one another via the top and just, you know, join them and stuff. I don't know if that's how you battle with other players. But yes, I still have the, the right one, the green one. It's still alive. I had Digimon games for the PS1 and I think it was re I was really bad at it. So my Digimon evolved <laughs> into the... <laughs> what's, his, what's the poop one? Ooh. Uemon, I think? So come on. So come on is the poop Digimon. So come on. So it became so come on. It's like a Tamagotchi but more violent. Yes, K, you are correct. You're correct about that. And I have a Pokedex as well that I got from, you know, it, it's in, J it, it's, I think it was something from Japan, but I think the battery leaked and so it went, it, it's, I don't know if it's no longer, if it's still working, but I think you just need to fix the battery port and then it's all good. Beyblades! Are you talking about Beyblades, Alberto? Not Blade Blades? If you're talking about Beyblades, then yes. Then yes. I even have this one thing wherein you connect it. You have the, the grip thingy and you connect it to the TV television and then you pull, like, you pull the thing and then it's like something like that. But yeah. I also like those games, you know? Bakugan? Never got into Bakugan that much. Probably because I don't I didn't have any of those as you know, I didn't have any of those Bakugan thingies. So yes. You're wait, let me check this card. Let me check this card. This card, this card. Where? Where? Where here? Where? Media share? No. Off topic chat. Where? Where did you place the thing, Sonic? Good times. I like I like it when you try you can um customize your babe your Beyblades. It's so nice. In my chat I didn't get the thing. Oh here. Ooh Berry Magician Girl. Chocolate Magician Girl. Witchcrafter Madame Verde. Why is it always food? Like berry and then chocolate? Are these new? I think these are just new new cards, right Sonic? Because I don't... I haven't seen them before. I haven't seen them before. But they look adorable. I remember since they were all magnetized. Oh yeah, then when you roll them into the like the card or something, they open up. I know about Bakugan, but I've never really got it. So I wasn't able to play with it. But yeah. Bye Titan. Thank you so much. I was I, it's because I was already in my chat and then I didn't notice that there was a notification. I was looking, huh, where's that where's the thing? Where's the unread thing in you know the channels? I didn't see that the dark magician. Oh, I even used to have a dark magician figurine, I think. Yeah, I think so, if I remember correctly. Go, Saul. Bakugan being in the lost and found at work. 
new Pokemon set. There's a lot of po new Pokemons, and I couldn't keep up with so many Pokemons. I thought there was only, you know, 100 in. I thought there were not no more lo no more than you know the usual the first gen, but then there's a lot of them now. So yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. You like I like when you're customizing your Beyblade. You can put the different types and thingies, and then um, it would be different depending on which uh, which. You know, accessory you put into sometimes it can make your Beyblade go, you know, die faster or stronger, or it depends. Depends. There are additions to the Dark Magician archetype, except. Oh! No, it's the different K. It's K the Slash the Hedgehog official. It's just that he, you know, it's pretty long. Yes, yes. Bye, Saul. Thanks for dropping by. Bye, bye. Anyway, I think I think Elena is Elena about to stream in a bit. I think she's supposed to stream at nine, eight forty-five p.m. Okay, Elena's about to stream in a bit, guys. So, yeah, in one minute. In one minute. So, and we've been here for like 3 hours and 30 minutes. So, we've been talking to for like 1 hour anyway. Wait, it's been an hour? Almost an hour of talking? Because as last time I checked, it's like we were talking for like when it was 2 hours and 30 something in the thing. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, Elena's about, well, she ske her schedule says it's 8.45 p.m. But I don't know, maybe she will start at 9, I think. But yeah. So yes, guys, um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, we will be having a, for the celebration for the 1000 sub, let's just plan it probably next week or something. I'm gonna just check into the schedules first and then, you know, I'm gonna think of what... We can do also if you guys have some suggestions on what you would like for the 1000 subs celebration just you know um i think i'll just also make another poll in you in the community tab because i'm afraid that if i ask you guys to reply it on discord you guys might <laughs> You, it it might get covered by the other chat so yeah i think we'll, i'll just write uh, i'll just post in the community tab so also for everyone else who's not yet part of the discord thingy and then once we've once i've seen your suggestions i will you know i will talk to manager son about that if we can do it and then if we can then we shall do some of the suggestions but we shall see we shall see Oh, it's it's eight forty five. Um, you know, e EDT with that with that day daylight savings time. But yes, slasha. Hey, yeah. If we say K, it, it it will look like Kalex. But if we say like slasha, it's like Asha. So we just call you Hedgehog then, <laughs> because we cannot call you Sonic because there's also a Sonic here. So I don't know. Why do you have so many similar names, huh? K the Slasha the Hedgehog official. But yeah. Yeah, we can continue the Yu-Gi-Oh! the talk some other time because you know we have plenty of time to talk anyway, so yes. So yes guys, thanks a bunch again for hanging out with me. It's really nice to have you guys around and congratulations to all of us for reaching a thousand subs. So thank you so much guys. This milestone or achievement wouldn't have been possible if not if you guys weren't around. So thank you so much for helping me reach this milestone. I really do appreciate all of your help and support. So thank you so much guys. I hope you will continue to have a wonderful night. But if you guys don't need to stay up, I mean, wake up early, then please go spend some time with um, Elena and Kalex when they go stream. So, you know, just spend some time with them, have fun, and just hang around. So, before I end, I would just like to say once again, welcome manager son to the guild. And then, um, 
force manager's on for the game and also for sonic for the 10 thank you so much for the 10 sonic i appreciate it and yeah that's pretty much it for now guys i'll see you guys tomorrow as we as we still try to figure out which time we will be playing for the members gameplay still haven't haven't seen the thing but yeah so thank you so much guys i hope you have a wonderful night bye everyone See ya tomorrow. Bye ya!